we just wrapped up a great shoot with Natalia. It was amazing. It was amazing. She is so strong. And we're on our way to... Cafe Pushkin. Cafe in the Pushkin. In the center of where? In the center of Moscow. In the center of Moscow. Here we go. Cafe Pushkin is really a five-star restaurant located on Tverskoy Boulevard in the center of Moscow and open 24 hours a day. The name Pushkin is referring to the famous poet and writer Alexander Pushkin, who frequently visited this neighborhood in the 19th century. The restaurant is housed in a Baroque mansion from the 19th century. The interior design contains a lot of original antique elements and the atmosphere reflects the aristocratic life from the early 20th century. There are four different dining halls inside, each with its own fabulous decor and atmosphere. The pharmacy hall represents the former drugstore that previously occupied the building. You can find a number of original porcelain bottles used in the preparation of of medication, pharmaceutical scales, and the pharmacy counter that has been beautifully preserved in its original condition. The Orangery Hall, where we were dining the first time, has large windows with a view of Tverskoy Boulevard. The intimate fireplace hall is a luxurious Tsar-style room with fancy chandeliers, original paintings, and golden ornaments on the walls. The library hall is full of antique books sitting on wooden bookshelves that extend all the way to the upper and mezzanine floors, telescopes, terrestrial globes, and ancient woodcuts. You need to make a reservation a few days in advance in order to book a table in the library. The summer terrace has lots of flowers and looks over the iconic golden onion domes of Moscow. The waiters wear uniforms that resemble 19th century servants and speak with an old Russian dialect. The cuisine combines historic Russian and French recipes with a contemporary flair. So we just arrived at Cafe Pushkin and the first thing I saw was the beer. It's in-house, it's brewed, it looks awesome. Cheers! So we're having dumplings with mushrooms. We've just served on our plate. The waiter actually put it on the plate for us. It's served with the white sauce. So good. Mm. It's very earthy because of the mushroom, but the cream sauce is really smooth. It tastes really great. So I ordered a rack of lamb, medium rare. It's actually good, really good, with roasted vegetables and cherry sauce. Can't wait to dig into this. I'll let you know what it tastes like after. The rack of lamb is amazing, amazing taste, amazing flavor. The cherry sauce complements it really well. Grilled vegetables with minced garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, charred peppers. Um, the onions were very well done. A little bit of herbs, spot on. Amazing. I got done pressed with the cherry sauce, risotto, baked pear, and ravioli. It looks amazing. The presentation is just unbelievable. This dish is phenomenal. I cannot even have enough words to describe it. It's so much flavor. Every single element has its own flavor and they all complement each other. They all combine really well um, the sweetness and the savory, it's incredible. The ravioli is actually looks like it's a duck um, liver. And over the ravioli, there is a mango sauce. Over the duck, there is a cherry sauce. The risotto has pomegranate flavor. And the baked pear is just so aromatic and sweet, unbelievable. This is the best dish ever. Now this is a chocolate cake with ice cream and berry. What an incredible presentation. Mm. 
So I ordered crepes, also known as blinchiki, with fruits and it's stuffed with some type of a cream. I'll give it a try. Put some of this sauce. Mm. So the cream is all, it's like sweet and cream cheese. So good. The sauce. Awesome. Thank you. Cappuccino and chai. We love this restaurant so much, so we decided to come back here a second time with friends. This time we ordered their famous dessert, creme brulee ice cream with strawberries and caramel sphere, which was served with a story. This dessert was originated at the end of the 18th century when Napoleon Bonaparte tried to conquer Egypt territories. Именно когда Наполеон Бонапарт, будучи полководцем, пошел своим могучим войском на египетские земли, цели их завоевать. After one of his victories, he ordered a big celebration for his army. During the war, Napoleon had his friend and a personal chef, Mr. Carré, accompanied and cooked for Napoleon. Mr. Carré decided to surprise the emperor with a special dessert, creme brulee ice cream in the shape of an Egyptian pyramid. This dessert was over one meter tall and was covered with a hard mesh caramel sphere. It had to be served at night so burning hot sun rays would not melt the ice cream. To add cheer to the celebration, Napoleon ordered fireworks. The sky got lit with beautiful lights. By accident, one of the fireworks sparks landed on the caramel sphere and melted it immediately. Everyone assumed the dessert was ruined. But Napoleon still decided to taste it. He was blown away by the melted caramel. Ever since, this dessert has been served in the best restaurants in France and later in the restaurant Café Pushkin. Pushkin Cafe and here everything is spelled, the, num the number is actually spelled out. Uh, they never include tip in your bill, however they do include the tax and the tax is about 18%. So in America you would um, leave 18 to 20 percent tip, here it's a tax. You never have to put your purse on the floor. quality food, service is excellent and the presentation is unbelievable. Wow, the dinner was absolutely incredible. I'm so satisfied and if you're ever in Moscow, I highly recommend to come to Cafe Pushkin. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification so you know when our next video comes out. Спасибо for watching and as usual, just, just be out, out with us. us.